Getting like a 10 for one right now. This is boxing. This is the beauty of the sport. This is what makes you a pugilist, okay? For my southpaws, I didn't forget you guys on this, all right? I want you to understand, all my instructionals, you should always envision when you're learning the fundamentals of boxing, if you're boxing another southpaw. That's the first thing because you want to learn things with proper form and technique from a conventional stance, but from a southpaw, your conventional stance, which is basically going to be like this, and you want to learn it as if you're boxing another southpaw, but I didn't exclude you guys. I gave you guys information on how you would do it against the opposite stance and the same thing for my orthodox boxers if you bump into a southpaw i explain how you can use these angles to go ahead and create new opportunities against the opposite stance so i just want to let you guys know you're getting like a two for one right now because there's going to be a lot of stuff in here that's going to help you box the opposite stance and that's mainly what you're going to do when you're boxing the opposite stance is figure out different ways to create angles that's why a lot of the best southpaws are really good at angles because they're so used to boxing orthodox boxers and they always got to figure out how to get off to the side especially the way everything's positioned so this is definitely a very uh knowledge knowledgeable it's, it's a very good instructional for people who want to understand how to box the opposite stance as a, and also for creating angles so you know what i mean i didn't leave you guys out all right so be very happy that you made this purchase because you're going to learn a lot all right guys so like i said previously there's two angles in boxing that are primary and that's left and right so if i'm standing here in front of eddie my goal is either to get to the right of him or to the left of him right so let's face the camera right i'm in the middle this is called the center line of boxing my goal when i'm creating an angle no matter how i create it no matter how creative i am when i create it is to either get to the right bang bang or get to the left bang bang or if i'm doing pivots or slides bang and so on and so forth right i go on the other side bang right that's the that's the main objective here right this is something that people overthink sometimes and they think that all these angles have to be this complicated move and sometimes it doesn't have to be it's as simple as simply stepping over there and hoping that you can freeze your opponent when you get over there. So the easiest basic way that I could think of is basically jabbing your way if you're boxing orthodox versus orthodox. Actually, for my southpaws out there, I wanted to make sure that I clarify this. Most of this stuff works southpaw versus orthodox, orthodox versus southpaw also. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about that as well. But if you are a righty versus a righty, okay, all he's going to do is jab his way to the left. Bop, 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 right? Now, whether he did a single jab, all right, do one jab, bop. Now look, we're only going to do one before I go ahead and I'll, just, I'll explain why I like to double and triple. But if he does one, he got the angle. All right, simple. Now watch this, he does one, pop. He already cleared the angle. Look, he's already in position for that right hand. Bang, right, so let's just say throw one, pop, and then you just throw your right hand. Bang, he can land his right hand, I can't land mine. And that's the, that's the whole key to the angle. So if we're boxing, before I demonstrate on the mitts, let's say we're sparring or we're fighting, and he does that move, pop, Bop, double up and triple up. Bop, bop, bop. Now look where he is. All right, in order for me to stop that angle, I gotta step with him, okay? But if I don't step with him, bop, 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 he's already got the angle, he sets me up for the right hand. I'm sure you've seen it in boxing time and time again. Now, the reason why I like to double or triple that jab as I'm sliding to the left is to stop that right hand as I'm going over because the right hand can, you can time the right, the jab with the right hand if you're throwing, if I'm throwing a single jab and then stepping, right, it'll be very easy for him to just wait and then when I step, bang, walk me into a right hand. But if I'm snapping my jab, ooh, ooh, now he has to defend. As he's defending, puts me in a nice position to land my own right hand. 
And something that you should always remember in boxing is a good offense can't be countered, it can only be defended. Now, let that sink in for a second. A good offense, okay, not a regular offense, a good offense. If you got somebody out there who's snapping their jab the way they're supposed to, nine times out of ten, you're not going to look to counter that jab. Your job is, I'm not going to get hit with that jab. As you're, not worrying, as you're worrying about not getting hit and you're defending whether you get hit or not, that guy already created an angle which puts him in a nice position for a straight right hand. If you're boxing a southpaw, it's the same thing. If we're battling the lead hands, double, triple your jab, bang, bang, bang. And look, he's got that same exact angle sliding to his left, which clears everything. So for my southpaws out there, don't say anymore that I left you guys out, okay? It's just a different shot that you're looking for because if you're boxing the right-handed fighter, now you're popping that jab circling this way, right? You cleared the, the jab and the cross on this side. As long as you don't get walk into that right hook, right? You could go ahead and walk over. We're bad at bank exactly. And now he doesn't have to worry about my straight left hand, which is basically the jab. Just this foot is here. See what happens when you don't overcomplicate this? It's pretty easy. All right, so stepping to the left, popping that jab is the first way to create that angle. Let me go ahead and demonstrate with Eddie some full speed here. All right, so he's gonna go ahead. This is something you could do with your coach, one of your friends. You don't even have to be a mid expert. You just work on this. Double jab. Triple. 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 Now notice, he's getting to a new spot, which right now is to my, to his left, to my right. All right. Five, five, five. Good. Now, double jab and line that right hand up for me. Pop, pop, bang. All right, ready? Do it all to this mid. Good. Pop, pop, bang. Good. Again. Pop, pop, bang. Good. I'll do it here. Good. Pop, pop, bang. I got nothing. He got something. Now that we're on that move with that step, let me show you what else you could do to create that same exact angle, just a different movement, and this is off the head movement. I throw a jab. He's going to slip and step at the same time and then cut the angle, so he'll go. And look at that. Let's do it one more time. Face me this way, all right? All right, you guys see me? I'm gonna throw the jab, Woo! now look at that. Bang, bang, gets me right up the center or whatever, okay? So let's do it one more time, do it quick now. And then I'll catch the uppercut in the strip right here. Bang, bang, all right? Woo! Bang, bang, that's that one. Do it again, Woo! bang, bang, okay? So you see how that works? So basically, it's the same movement as if I threw the hook, but he's just using the head now to get to that same spot to put him in a new angle. Fantastic move, add it to your box. Okay, and like I was saying before uh, about every movement when you're creating angles, you have to freeze your opponent, okay? I already talked about that. So that slip move obviously is one way to freeze because if I think I can land the jab on him and he slips, right, I'm semi-frozen, but the only thing is, once he makes that move, if I'm quick enough, I can turn with him. So now, to make this move really, really effective, you slip and jab at the same time. Now you're definitely gonna freeze him. So now he's gonna slip, bang. There you go. All right, let's do it again. And bang, all right? Let's do it again and bang, good. One more time, quick now. Slipping and boom, and now. All right, since we're on this subject of the step, might as well give it all to you guys, right? Um, as he slips, now he already landed the jab. Now, what he'll do to make sure he keeps me frozen, instead of just cutting him for one right now. This is boxing. This is the beauty of the sport. This is what makes you a pugilist. Okay. okay. 